Welcome to the first episode of Free Smoke. Free Smoke, Free Smoke. I'm your host, Millie Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with... The host, with the most. The people them champ never self-proclaimed. The people them gave me that name. Big Jabba Jones from the South Side. Way oi. Way oi to the world I'm back. What I feel like. I'm saying Free Smoke, Free Smoke, Free Smoke. Free Smoke, Free Smoke, Free Smoke. Free smoke. Today we got a legendary guest. Real legendary. Pioneer. Mentor. Real. Facts. Activist. Facts. Youth worker. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of my peers in this rap game. None other than we're gonna let him introduce himself, man. Oh, judge your souls, respect, fam. Oh, man, just love. Just love. Respect, fam. What's going on, you good man? Don't love all the time, fam. Bless, bless, bless. I'm saying, I'm here, fam. How you been, man? How's everything? Well, I'm good, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm here, healthy, living. I'm saying, and yeah, man. I was going to be seeing um, a picture floating around with um, you, Mike, and Coke. Coke. Yeah, man. What's going on with that? that yeah, um, yeah, we've done a, yeah, we've done a, um, on K Coke project. Yeah, K Coke okay. project. Yeah, I'm saying to you, so yeah, the madness was in the studio. Yeah, it was just like a big moment. And I'm saying to you, a lot of people are excited. There's a big moment. That's good. Of course, man. Yeah. Even I was excited. Yeah. It's good to see. Yeah. Um, Three goats in the yeah. UK rap game together exactly. and still making music. Exactly. Most man who came in the game with us is not even still making exactly. music or even like relevant today. Yeah, so that was a yeah, it was a big moment. Me and Michael just talking and talking and yeah, man. He was obviously obviously anytime yeah. there's people like that, your name always gets mentioned. Yeah. Obviously, you know, you get me? big up Mike. Michael's like no big up definitely um, ill milk. Big up Coke and Mike. Exactly. All day, every day. Exactly. Man. Definitely. Yeah, man. It's a good look, man. It's a good look, and yeah, man. Things, big yeah, things. so we want to get into some things most probably the viewers didn't know. I know. Yeah. So, what's your origin like background? Um, of, of it, um, I've grew up Rasta. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up Rasta. I'm saying a lot of people know I grew up Rasta now. I'm saying, but um, yeah, I was very cultured and very like kind of like revolutionary kind of background. So it's Jamaican, yeah. African, Jamaican, yeah. um, Jamaican. My, my dad was Jamaican, but he moved to. Ghana, I from when I was a young age. Okay, okay. So I've always had like a African influence. Yes. Yeah, I'm saying to you, knowing enough people didn't understand about the whole African but you know when it was all there's them the on the TV it was all the little poor kids and all yeah, the yeah, little yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I always had a different image in my head because my, yeah. my dad used to show me pictures and I see videos. I'm saying to you, so what, I always knew. What was that image? It was I just used to see like big houses mm. and dope beaches and mm. A whole different vibe. Like a nice society. Yeah, I see a different vibe. So I was like, raw, can they show in this? Not the big bellies yeah. and the flies and yeah, the I didn't see that yet, like me. That, yeah. So I was like, raw, was... obviously there's poverty, but I never used to see that. So I'm like, raw, what can they show in all this? Like, yeah. And I see mad houses. My dad just showed me mad houses, big houses, and madness, and people in normal clothes. And you get me? So I didn't see that, what everyone was mm. saying. So my, my, I always had a, a certain view and direction. Yeah. So, so like, where did you grow up? Um, obviously Birmingham. I'm from Birmingham, um, Handsworth. That was my little. That was my town. You hear me? Mm. How so, was it yeah. growing up in there? No, it was Handsworth. Was very. I always say this because we had um, we're close to Manchester, Liverpool. That like, they had the docks out there, so there's a lot okay. of like fan arms. It was from those angles. You okay. hear me? So it was from a young age. I always heard about like shootouts, and from a young age, that was normal to me. I grew up in that environment. Certain um, the people around me was very. He's, he's very revolution raw, so mm. obviously machines was about, and I grew up in that kind of. But it wasn't a hype though. It was mm. a very serious environment. I'm saying mm. to you, so it wasn't like you no know, certain man grew up on mashing. It was a hype thing. My one was very serious. Okay, I'm saying yeah. to you, so man didn't have mashing them for like hype reason. Or it wasn't like the, the machine out. was for a reason. Yeah. The machine was, was for a reason. reason. It was yeah. serious. Yeah. Getting so yeah. yeah, if you had to, you, you, grew you grew up, up around some serious, some serious people. Yeah. You get me? So how did you feel? Um, no. How was your childhood like in Birmingham, like the schools and that? What type, what ages did you? So it was um school. I went to a school called Westminster Primary School, and it mm. was good. Yeah, it was good. Um, in, different from down London, um, Birmingham, we kind of all it was very like more cultured. So yeah. like the um Asians and the Rastas and we was all very like in a small knit community. We all used to roll together, mm. everyone's together, and mm. so. I think Brum had like the more. In my opinion, with the more serious Asians, mm. yeah, they're more, they're definitely. more, they're a bit definitely. more feisty it's down there. Yeah, I've, I've always said that. I've always said that, and that's no disrespect <laughs> like, to like exactly. the, um, London Asians. Yeah. But you see, when you go like um to the Midlands, 
York, even like yeah, Brentford, yeah, Brentford, 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 Right, go, go in that little garden patch there. That's yeah, it. And everyone's yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I grew up, that's, like, yeah. I've always been a fighter because of that. I, yeah, that's how yeah, I grew up standard. Yeah, like, well, yeah. you have to go, pressure's on. Yeah, yeah. I will see man arguing and say, okay, right, you two go over there, fight. Yeah, yeah that's, that's our generation. Definitely. That was, definitely. That was, you got thrown in the back garden. Straight. That's it. Sometimes, that's they, it. Yeah. sometimes yeah. they want to fight and they're like, oh, it's only a joke. <laughs> yeah. But then yeah. the older say, nah, 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 you have to fight. But even that, like a bigger point, even like for the younger generation, after that, we had to make up. And be Straight friends, away, on you know the spot, what I'm on, on the, the spot. spot. Like it, spot. it wasn't nothing on the after spot. that. You know what I'm saying? That's on the spot. Yeah, yeah. that's so that, that. I got that normal after the fight. It's like yeah, bam, shake hands, boom, yeah. and then it's mad. We're gonna play football or something together. So because I know what, like about that Midlands and talk. What's pop? Oh, or the drink. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> 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 so I went to school in Wolverhampton for a year. So when I was here in. Pass me some pop, yeah, man, pop, and yes, all that sort of talk. Pop, I'm thinking, what's pop, man? Yeah. And they're talking about yeah, coke and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. So I'm thinking, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's mad. And then down there, we had so we had pop. And then instead of they, down here, they had he. Remember the game he? Yes, he. he. Yeah, we yeah, Down there, they called it tig and tag. Tig and Same tag. Same to you. Yeah, yeah, so just little things that they had, little differences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's well, yeah. It was, it's, it, but apart from that, it's all this, this, the same system. That sound system was very influential down there. Um, yeah. Straight um, street culture and... Yeah, it was all. It, yeah, it was. I I just grew up with um, like obviously seeing like certain kings and queens on my in the, on my wall in my house and you know mm. a different direction. Mm. I'm saying so. Yeah, man. Empress. Was, and, yeah, uh, I grew yeah. up in a different whole vibe. But that would know, even man. come to the next question. I had like like how did you get your name? Did like um, so made, yeah, so, what made yeah, you so that? what it was my name. My real name's Elijah. Yeah. So. Everyone will say, you say, I mean, you know, I'm one of those little kids that, you know, it's always hearing my name. Mm. Elijah, 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 everywhere mm. you go. Like, mm. it's always, I'm getting chased or so there's something happening. So, everyone just started cutting it. Ja, Ja. And then mm. it's got become Ja. And then everyone started saying Ja, Ja. And then mm. Ja, Ja came mm. out of that just randomly. Mm. And then what was mad is my dad is called Ja, Ja. Okay. In Birmingham. But yeah. no one, no in London. Yeah. So, my mom was like, why are they calling your dad's name? Yeah. I'm saying... They, they just call it so for sure. So is it when you came to London, they yeah. called you Jaja? When I come okay. to London, they call me Jaja. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's mad. Like, my mom, used to, mom one day, my mom said to me, Whoa, why are they calling your dad's name? They mm. know your dad. And I'm saying, mm. nah. Mm. She's saying, why are they calling you Jaja? I'm saying, it's like a short for Elijah. And she's like, raw, imagine that. So Jaja stuck with me. Mm. And then the souls came. Everyone always used to say, you know what? It's like, you got like a, your, you got like a two parts to you. Like there's a, I always was in like trying to do business and trying mm. to do certain things, but I was also wild. So, so what was the Soze? Like the mafioso kind Yeah, of it's kind of like yeah. the, 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 um, the yeah. Kaiser Soze yeah. thing yeah. I'm saying to you. Yeah. So okay. they always said that he's got, he's got that, that, those familiarities. Like it's kind of like, you never know what's going on mm. with him. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying to you. So, so Jaja, Righteous, yeah, Rasta. Yeah, there you go. And then the Soze. Souls are wild. Streets, yeah. wild. Yeah. So that's okay. where they combined it together, yeah. I'm saying to you. So that's how it comes. So it was very... Kind of natural, yeah. Yeah, it was. It wasn't like I, not, I, didn't, I didn't think about it. Like it just, it just came, and then. So I, when you first came to London, now, how was that? Did you want to be um, here? No, nah, when I first come to London, I didn't even like it. When I come, you didn't like it. It. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even like it. Like, I was, I was mad. The way we come, like it was like Rob just came, and I didn't know no one. Like, I didn't have like no, I didn't have no big brothers or uncles mm. or it's just me, my mum. Mm. My mum was like, my mum was like my big sister as well. So mm. yeah, cause my mom had a young mum, so. Mm. When I come, I was like, run. And then obviously, I knew I was going to have to fight because I had an accent. Mm. I knew straight away. That was going to be one of my questions for Yeah. You. How was it when you first come yeah, because of so the accent? Because man tried to know, get on to me, fam. Did you get a country <laughs> bunker and all that? Fam, man tried to get on to me, fam. So I got that straight away. Yeah. I, I was fighting from the get-go. Where did you come? Straight to Brixton? I came to, I went to Brixton, I went to Tolls Hill straight away, then Brixton and Stretton Vale. Okay, you was in the Vell. Yeah, I was in the Vell. Okay. I was in the Vell for a little bit. And then yeah. I was going to school from, I was going to school in Brixton, but I was traveling from the Vell to Brixton. Okay. I was young. And then I went to Angel Town around 1991 or something like 1990. 
Mm. Yeah, like them kinds. Of, but when I, soon I got to Brixton, when I got to primary school, it was on straight away. Straight away. Every, straight away. Like, <laughs> soon I spoke. <laughs> it, it, was like, it was bro. Straight away. <laughs> I'm like, straight, they were all onto me. London's got a way of being, bro, being bro. ruthless to so what we don't You can even be a bro. victim. Yeah. Yeah, like, I was not being a victim. Because it was even the same for um, Jamaican youth. Say if yeah. he came straight yeah, yeah. over from Jamaica, yeah. he's getting finished. Same straight thing. over from Africa, straight he's getting finished. Straight or, it was the same. They tried to figure it They tried it straight away. So I was fine. was just bullying. Yeah, we were just bullies. Say to you, but a lot bullies. of mouth though. A lot of them had a lot for of mouth no reason. Yeah. for no reason. We were just bullies yeah. for no reason. Mm. Yeah, but for no reason. They tried it, but yeah, I wasn't. Having, I was not having that. Yeah, like, you, I got think it, you got it. You got it. What, what happened? Like savage as well. Why I think my reputation grew and I got more popular is because I was from Birmingham. And mm. I wasn't having it. Mm. And I think that's what shocked everyone. Like, raw, mm. my man, just, who's, who's my man? Mm. But everywhere I was going, you know, I it's mad. I met everyone mm. through someone real because I didn't know no one member so mm. I'm just meeting people mm. so like, I, I might be with one serious guy then I go somewhere else and I meet another serious, serious guy, guy. Yeah, yeah, so that's, right. that's how I was just meeting people yeah. like I didn't know no one member I didn't go to school with a lot of people so mm. it's just like I was just going along and meeting people on my journey mm. Mm. and yeah that's, that was that was my that was my introduction to London yeah that's nuts that's nuts it would definitely be different now definitely that's my introduction fam I mean, yeah, so just learn a whole and it's mad because before when I got to like around I got to. I went through the stages of like the criminal activity, you know, like from stealing yeah. cars, um, no BMXs, cars. <laughs> Where was that in Birmingham or no, London? In London, in London. Okay. Yeah. So I what went age from, did you come to London? I come to London uh, nine. Okay. Yeah, nine. Mm. Yeah. You Londoner then, bro? Yeah, nine. <laughs> ten, ten, nine. I say to you, and it's mm. mad because I got my first. I got like when I was in Birmingham, I got arrested. When I was my first arrest was when I was like seven mm. in a mm. in a, uh, a, a new centre called One Stop. Mm. I got arrested on my first time I got arrested I was like I was six or seven what was you doing at seven yeah. for you to yeah. get arrested yeah, man, man was um, do you know young youths that are seven do you know yeah. what they're doing they're playing yeah. Xbox <laughs> yeah, was, yeah I just had a different yeah I was, I was just, just um, active yeah I was just active I was in the, in the centre and just teeth in clothes with my sisters and that and my bro, yeah and got arrested um, and yeah that was a smart that was, a, that was like the kind of come up I came up you know you go through the stages yeah, yeah. yeah I went through literally all of the stages. Yeah, you go through the of foundation. What, the foundation yeah, all yeah. the way up. Yeah, I didn't. I did. I would literally went through all the way up through the through the stages. I went through everything like from a certain so age and BMX's cars. The whole thing. I went through. I was. I was riding ro- roller skates, skateboards. Mm. I done the whole, mm. literally the whole thing. I, I used to love it. I was just one of those kids that I was active. Mm. Like I, my mom will say, like this guy. So is, being nine years old and being placed in Angel Town must have been kind of like a frightening yeah, experience. Straight away, just went to straight straight into the deep end. Remember. Mm. I, um, the house that we went to live in in Angel Town at the time, it was the it was like a it was like a squat like a tra- um, trap house. Mm. So mm. obviously when we went before they must have, it was a trap house before they everyone got arrested went to jail whatever then they painted it whatever then mm. moved us in straight mm. in the house. Mm. So when we got there it was just, everyone was just coming to the door like right who's these people? Mm. Like I was saying to you that's how I met one guy called Harvey. He's um he was a twenty eight younger mm. twenty eight. Mm. Like he's the first person I met. He came straight to my front door. Mm. Like, well, who are you lot? You get me? Like, that's like, <laughs> well, who's that's who's nosy. You like, nosy. Bro, he came that's to the house. Nosy like, well, yeah. Who's you lot? I'm saying to you, that's a, me and Harvey from that day. Me and him was, was yeah. tight. I'm saying yeah. to you, that's a, yeah, that's my first Justin, introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah Justin. Shout out Justin. I'm saying Harvey, to you, Harvey. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, to you, yeah. he he was a younger 28, so he kind of like introduced me to the whole. 28, he's the one that said to me, like, there's, there's 28. Mm. I was like, well, what's that? You get mm. me? And he kind of, he was on like, it was, int- I, I knew all, everyone through him. He introduced mm. me to loads of people. Mm. So that's, that was kind of my introduction to them, to kind of the 28s and all mm. that. And so what, you used to roll with, like, the younger 28s? Yes, yeah, so I used to roll with, I saw with Harvey and Deli B more. Mm. Um, and then Harvey and Deli B, and then there was a guy called Peanut that I used to roll with. Mm. And they kind of introduced me to loads of people. Then my brother and Benji from school, he's from Dulwich, or but, um, mm. his brothers that was around, mm. uh, mm. so mm. Benji kind of introduced me to loads of people. So between those four people, mm. I knew I, I, I met everyone. Mm. Those people at the beginning of stages, and yeah, I was. Just, I think at that time, a lot of people used to stay on their estate. Yeah. But me, I was so wild. I was just everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I was just, I was just on buses, wild. I was mm. everywhere. You know what I'm saying. And now you're right because a lot of people just yeah, didn't leave their area. Their area. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. so. I was just wild. I was just everywhere, and yeah, man, that was built up into prison, and then saying to you, just carried on like that. I'm saying. So what to you, what led to the convictions and stuff? Like um. That? Uh, we, um, we was we was living. Obviously, I always was was um, a hustler. Mm. I was always. Uh, do you know what is it? I didn't rate. It's mad because see, growing up, a lot of people rated a lot of the like the bad boys and that, and I didn't rate them. You know, mm. it's mad. Like mm. I just think like that's kind of dead though. Like raw. Like, sort of bad boy. Like, see when man was bad, bad enough man for no reason. There was yeah. no money involved. I didn't understand it. I was like, raw. Yeah. But you're not making no money though. You're yeah. a bad boy. But I don't understand it. Yeah. I did. It didn't. It didn't 
sit well with my head, like, yeah. wow, but you're bad enough everyone, but you're not making no dough. Yeah. I didn't understand it, you yeah. get me? So That's like a bad breed, like I, a wrong one then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I didn't understand. I was like, wow, there has to be money involved, you get me? I was yeah, just, no, I just, I, yeah, I was just like a hustler, like, no, there has to be money involved, though. Like, if you do stuff, there has to be some kind of money reward or something. Yeah. I didn't understand it. So I got into that kind of, my, my head's always been like that. So I got into, like, robberies and kind of that kind of mindset from a young age mm. um, to make money. And yeah, I went to jail when I was like 15, 15 for bank robbery. Mm. Um, and it's mad because... So you was definitely a part of the Licking It era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Licking It yeah. Shabby and Abbey. Yeah. Yeah. How, how, how yeah. was that? So yeah, yeah. Shabby and Abbey. Um, yeah, that was... No, it was, yeah, that was... There was, a, there was loads of us, like Cluffy, um, Fat Shane. There was a bag of us. That was our, that was our little our era. And then... Um, yeah, it was. No, it was. We was making mad money, going mm. to mad raves, mad designer clothes, and no, of course, definitely. Was young, but was young, but just fly. Mm. My young what, age. What made you? Um, what do you think made you want to take that risk? Do you know, at the time, I, I don't even know. It was just like the money. Bro. It was mm. money. It was a straight love of money, and we just mm. wanted to just do dope shit. Mm. So it was just go to dope places, and we was we was ahead of our time. Mm. We were saying so when you, well, after you would do something like you was from the, like the jungle area, you'd go to yeah, jungle, jungle raves. raves. Like that. That's yeah. how I met all. That's how I know all like um, jumping Jack Frost. I know mm. I know like all most of the DJs mm. and the MCs. They will all say, "Well, Elijah was in the place." Mm. When them time, my name was Elijah. So they'll say, "Well, little Elijah, are you in it?" Mm. My name I wasn't judging. I was a little Elijah. You get me? So mm. yeah, I was just everywhere. And then mm. they used to, they used to always just look at me like, "Right, how can that little youth in it? How did he get in it?" I was fly them times. Machino, <laughs> mad, machino, mad fly them yeah. so, yeah, that's, that's how it was. That was just a lifestyle. Back to the um, convictions. Also, yeah. how did it feel when you landed in prison? Like, the yeah, first talk, time? talk, talk us through when you landed your first See, day I first at got, fifteen. When I first got to prison, the first time, you know, I was, I was a bit. I always knew I was gonna go to prison. <laughs> that's, mad. that's mad, isn't it? That is, no, that's, that's very mad. mad. That's like, it sounds like you was manifesting it, but you knew, because the way how you was out here, I knew, you knew you was mad active. I always knew there, there could be a possibility, yeah, but I didn't but think, I didn't, no, yeah, no, I yeah. no, 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 I was yeah. 100% sure. <laughs> that's crazy. That's it, I'm out here for real. Oh, I was 100%. I, I was 100% sure. Like, that, was part of, that was part of it. Brixton, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We knew, we knew he was going to prison. Like, yeah. 100%. Like, I knew growing yeah. up, like, I'm going to prison. When I think of all the men, them like our age group, down, they've all been yeah, to prison. All yeah. them, all, all, all so for the same thing. It was just, yeah. it was we. Did, I just knew it. Like we're going to jail, like, mm. straight. We're going to jail. Like that's it. And when I get caught, guilty, send me to jail. Mm. Yeah, it was like it was. Yeah, it was straight. Like it was no, no long thing. Yeah, got catch. Okay, guilty. And I was waiting to go to jail. So what did you feel like and when you when got, I got, got there? In, yeah. Still got to felt him. I remember going to felt him, oh, yeah, and yeah. just it was just it was just wild. Mm. It was just wild. There was man from everywhere, like um, the Pecker man, them, the Brixton, I'm mean, Brixton ghetto, mm. um, West London, East, North. Everyone was just in there, and it's just like all. Imagine like all the rude boys from mm. all the ends, mm. just in one place. I could go. Remember, yeah, yeah cool. remember them times. <laughs> them times you couldn't just be like. See nowadays when anyone can just be bad. Like yes. them times, it wasn't like that. No. It was like mm. there's these set of guys. These are just these are the wild ones, yeah. and everyone else mm. is just normal guys. And normal. It's, and we respected them as well. It yeah, wasn't yeah. Like, there was no disrespect. Like there'll be yeah. a man on the ends that he can be up. He can be up all the rude boys, but mm. he's just a cool guy. Mm. But mm. he can still be up all the rude boys though. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. just respected <laughs> him because he's a cool Safe guy. Yeah, 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 he's just a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's not a dickhead or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We rate him. Yeah, yeah. we rate him. Yeah. That but reminds me of someone still. Say to you. Say to you. Me, nigga. Say to that's the one that wants to just cut through and, and make sure that everyone's good and he's just in his exactly. And I always tell you, remember that there's, there's that's like, there was always that that balance where they, they, we had a, the man them and then we had the civilian normal people mm. that was just cool guys, they had college guys, mm. they had working guys, and they was all respected still. Though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. So we knew you knew you knew where everyone stood. Everyone played their part, and then yeah, that's what when we, when you went to go to jail, I just saw it was just like all. The rude boy is in one place. Like, he's, he's just, he was just, he was just wild. Yeah. Mm. Was wild. So what was the first age you said you went to jail? 15. 15. So turning, I turned 16 in jail. So that means you came back out and then went back again? Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's all, that, uh, that's not, this one, this is not yeah. important thing. This is yeah. a timeline. I just, yeah. And he told everyone. I think even you said it one time in interview and I was like, that timeline's wrong. Yeah. And I told everyone, this is a timeline. Yeah. So I went to jail. <laughs> yeah. I went to jail 1996. Nine, like my first sentence, yeah. nine at six, it was, I got five years, but I got um, in concurrent. 
Mm. So um, two years for one robbery and three years for another robbery. Mm. And, and they ran it concurrent. Yeah. So I got done three years. I um I went in. I came out in 1998. When I came out in 1998, I got in. That's when I first got introduced to you. Mm. Remember, I got introduced to you. My mm. sister was a hustler. Yeah. My sister I wasn't was... even gonna go into that part. My of sister was a hustler. Facts. Facts upon my facts sister, upon facts. Forget yeah. me. Man, yeah. man, don't want to talk about me. Out. My that, that's, sister that's was a hustler. Who introduced me to Elijah? Was there you go. His sister, yeah. My Mad. sister was. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows. My sister was a yeah. hustler. Like. Yeah. Straight, so everyone you always knows that. say you're, you're gonna like my brother, Bro. my brothers, and and, and I remember my, my every hustler. word was true. There you go, yeah. Yeah. my sister's a hustler. Yeah. And that's true. what I'm saying to you. That's yeah. how I got spot user because you was you was, yeah. you was a hustler. And that was this was this was <laughs> <laughs> like, like no, this is 1998. Remember yeah, this, <laughs> you remember me? Yeah? Certain man was making money. I was eight money. years old then. Well, certain man were making money though. See, money, yeah, money was only certain people yeah. was making money and doing certain things. Yeah. I'm saying to you, so I with my I always told the truth. Yeah, like Millie was there. Like I saw him come, I saw him, and he was. My sister's a hustler. Yeah. So she's already doing business with him. So, <laughs> so, so that's yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's already. Yeah. So when, <laughs> I'm, when I'm coming to town, like, to I'm, I'm hearing about life, but he's in the can, isn't it? So I'm just coming there, I'm dealing with his sister and stuff. I, I can't remember who even introduced me. It might have been Sykes. It was Sykes, it was Sykes, it was Sykes, it was Sykes. But Sykes is yeah. always spoke highly. Exactly. Free Sykes, that's yeah. the bro. Free Sykes, free Sykes, free Sykes. Free Sykes, free Sykes. Yeah, Sykes has always spoke highly. So when I met you... Yeah, I remember we met and they said, yeah, bam, certified. I was like, yeah, bam. That's one of the... Like, as a rapper, that's one of the coolest rappers yeah. I've met. And then as a Respect. person, that's one of the yeah. coolest persons I've met. That's a solid link, though. You can't get much more solid than a sister. Bro, that's what I'm yeah, saying to you. Definitely. No, it was a serious yeah. link. And then, imagine that then, I went, I was doing, um, after that, I was doing um, events. I was doing, like, Kid Cartel, mm. Ghetto Fever. I was done in the place with yeah, the, 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 the shows. One. Yeah, I was done in the place with yeah. the shows. Then I went in jail again, 2000 and... No, no, here what happened now. We started, when I come out now, we started doing rapping. Me, while I was in jail, me, Yosh, all of us was like talking about doing music. Mm. Um, I come out in 98 and I was going to a studio in Shretton, Barry's studio. Barry, yeah, 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 My yeah. Barry, that was on in Shretton in the little alleyway bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going um, Shretton. By us. Yeah, 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 by yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, it was me, Killerman Archer, um, Dialute, um, Maddox, Quinny, mm. and Mantana. And that and Birdie, that was mm. that was we was that's what we was doing. We was doing a we was doing a we was working Sykes, album. Sykes played that tune yeah. to us one time. Was it Devil and Mother? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Who, all I the old tunes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, no, Sykes, we definitely. was we was working on the album right then. Boom. Mm. I was I was on a but at that time yeah, man, my man, my Pilgrim crew, man's on the road. Man's mm. doing a madness. Man's all over the place. So man's robbing. Man's I'm trying to do shows and sh- shot in and robbing and yeah. it's, it's all mad. Like yeah. tell us about the start and the birth of PDC. It's the the. The birth of it, yeah, for the for for the roads, the road stuff as a crew that started from the older lot. So that okay. was like that's like you're going through like you, it's, there's there's always arguments about where it came from the 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 peel them crew, but the main names that's just come from is like Machiavelli, like an older called Machiavelli. You got Killerman Archer, Azzy, Sykes that passed away, rest in peace, um, and so the other ones. Same to you that that was there come from that angle though. Obviously, I was the youngest, younger lot off right, from that. Right, so right. I just heard peel them and I said, What? That's for Robin, yeah? <laughs> say, <laughs> say nothing. That's my team. Get me? So, so obviously, I got introduced to it and I've run with it. I'm saying to you, yeah. that's mm. the oldest, get me? Okay. So I've run with it. Mm. And that's kind of where the, the, the setup come. And then, boom. Anyway, now, so when I've gone to jail now, the, after we've done the album, we've done doing all that road stuff, I've gone to jail again the second time, 2002. Mm. While I'm in jail, while I'm in jail now, come what jail was in? Someone's come in and given me a CD. <laughs> I looked on the CD, yeah, and I saw SMS, fam. I said, "What the? F- this? <laughs> what is this? Out, no, I saw that. I saw this. It was mm. the man is sort professional, fam. Mm. Yeah. So, remember, yeah, before, yeah. so before that, yeah, yeah, the black album. Yeah, the black like, album. So before that, before that, now, oh yeah, let me, not, let me not go. Before that, now, I tell you, before that, now the rappers that was going on things was you had um, Fifty Cent Dynasty. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Big up Big up Tundra in the building. Fifty Cent Dynasty was going on. Tough. Yeah, they were. Saying to you, they just had a place. They was going on tough. I'm saying to you, you had a couple next man. You had um, Pilo and that in Mike's Hall. You had Yush doing um, Badness Records. You had a couple other look, man in the hood that was doing little music. I'm saying to you, there's a couple others. I always, I always forget. They always cuss me afterwards, but <laughs> they was there. You get me? There's enough man. We got everyone, everyone that was there those times. You get yeah. me? And then, but when I saw SMS, I was in the thing. I said raw because remember, yeah, I was trying to do that before I went in. Yeah, so yeah. when I saw the professionalism of it, and I saw remember the man in that on it, and my, my dogs, let me. I saw little Wes on it. Shug, I see. Come, I said raw. I saw um, <laughs> a million. It, so I'm saying mm. raw. Couple, this is serious. So I'm saying mm. raw. 
bam. So I'm in jail and I'm saying, yeah, these men are doing, they might set the pace now. So you feel like to, uh, the professionalism and to take it to the next level now. The branding. And that branding was there, you get me? So I said, this is... No, it was, it was there. So I said, early. yeah, mad. So boom. During this time, bikers out here and he's introduced me to people. He's, he's saying to yeah, boom, little DV, little tent man, certain mm. man. So we're getting things built up and the younger mm. ones are coming through now as well, you get me? Okay. Um, so boom, I remember I phoned, I phoned, I phoned you from, I phoned you from, I phoned you from Penn. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, yeah, I phoned, yeah, yeah. I phoned, yeah. really from where I said, fam, <coughs> your team's mad, fam. <laughs> and bro, I said, yeah, I need studio when I come out. And it was like, yeah, fam, yeah, when yeah. you come out, when you come out, come studio. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, definitely. Remember, you remember that? Yeah, well, welcoming everybody. Come yeah, studio. Yeah, so boom, yeah. I come out and I, I come out homely first. I went to Big Bad Blue studio. Mm -hmm. Then I went straight to Ill Mill studio. Man, then, them times, like Big yeah. Big Bad Blue. When I saw the man in them studio, yeah, because remember, yeah, that wasn't... It's, remember, the, the, the scene started, you know? <laughs> So, bro, you, bro, you got to remember, yeah, the scene's just starting, yeah, fam. Mm, mm. So, see, before that, yeah, there was there was a couple of men that, that in big studios got professional studios, but see, the man, them, though, it, the yeah. man, them, no man in the you had that like that. Yeah, so ups. When yeah, I yeah. came there, I was like, what the fuck is going on there? Yeah. That <laughs> man had a booth, yeah, some mad yeah. booth. I said, the mm -hmm. raw, so that... Um, that was, mm. what year was that? Oh, like 2003. <coughs> three, 2003. Yeah, about, yeah, 2003. 2003, yes. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, that was, that was, that's when, and then that's, that's when... Um, that might have been four, you know. 2003 or yeah, four? Yeah, it might have been four. 2004. Because that yeah. album came out in 2004. No, sorry, 2004, you're right. Yeah, I went, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. I, I come out in 2004. Yeah. That's when I come out, yeah. 2004. So that's when, then just after that, now we come out, then the DVD started popping mm. off and then it was a madness. And then since then, all, like, PC and SMS have always been like that brother and that, you know that? Yeah. Like cousins. Yeah. Cousins. Yeah. Cousins, yeah. Cousins, yeah. It's cousins. It's cousins. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's people think it's one movement. Yeah, yeah that's no, how it is. I'm yeah. from West, innit? Yeah. So yeah. the first time I heard of both of you was together. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. No lie, I never told you like that before. Yeah. I thought it was one yeah. gang. No, that's, 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 that's I've always heard that. that yeah. That's what man hears, bro. I thought that was like, that's one big gang. That's man of serious. That's what I thought. And do you know what people, enough people don't know, yeah? See, before even enough of the PDC man them come around me, yeah? You know some of the younger ones? The first ones that was around me was Stinks and mm. Grizz. Mm. And it's mad. Imagine that. I, mm. When I was on the block, I used to be doing my little shotting and my little mm. hustling. They might used to be going to school in the morning, you know. And mm. before they go to school in the morning, they come check me on the block. Mm. I'm, I'm out early, you know. I'm a hustler. I'm out. <laughs> oh, they, you know, I'm telling you. I heard, I heard, the I man, heard you had all of them. Bro, the man <laughs> was, bro, I'm outside. <laughs> fam, I'm seeing people's mums that like, go to work yeah. and, and then come back. Yeah, no, I'm still on the block. Them, I heard you was the, you Listen, was, you I'm the boss, bro. Listen, I'm out early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> day, fam, them, the real them, block and then, hugger. And then Grizz is coming yeah, to me in the morning bro. before he goes to school. Like, he's like, yeah, Judge, where are you? He's like, I'm going to school now. He's gone to school, you know. Then he's come back, link me in the afternoon. Bam, we're chatting again. He's gone home. Change, come back and link me. I'm still in the block, you know. Mm. I'm, st I'm not going nowhere. But the second time you went, um, Joe, it was as a collective, innit? Yeah, we're all went. And that's for trying to yeah, do something. That was all of us together. Like, that's basically. Sorry to cut you. That's, that's why I would say that we always know that you've always tried to bring people in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Because even when you hustled, you, you, you had a team. Do you understand? All the time. And all the, team, the, time. the team went jail. The team whole come team. out of jail, bam, PDC. The whole team. So, the whole team. You know I think saying? they they got us. There was that. I think there was. Was it 13 of us that they arrested that yeah, time? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, 13 remember. of us. All of us went jail. And then, yeah, we'll come out. Put, you get me? Just putting together and same... It was and always been the same vision. The work rate was crazy. Yeah, you never stopped. All the time. You never stopped. Same like, vision. From my era, as I said, when I think I was 18... Um, I was eight when you was out here. But <laughs> when, when, when I was growing up, like, college and teenage, secondary school, yeah. obviously it was Channel U. Big up Channel U, because that plays a big part right. in the game. But... You like had videos consistently yeah. on it. It was non-stop. Like, I think I had like five back-to-back. -back. Yeah, back-to-back. -back. Yeah, back-to-back. And there back. was a mad run where they will play it one after the yeah. other. Oh, they will play it. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. It was celebration. And wild. Back. Yeah, but you know, they will play one tune yeah. and then they will play a couple new or, or the, yeah. the normal tunes yeah. and then go right back yeah. to you lot's videos. Mm. It was mad. It was mad. Yeah, that's that's mad. That's what, like, how much albums have you got? together we had like, with everybody everybody's album so like all, okay all yeah. together there's around i think the projects all together they might be like around 29 or something like that that's a lot of music 29 of music. projects something like that yeah 29 MySpace projects. days as well is it? From all them days i think that's all together probably got like, might have been more than that that's yeah. why i'm yeah it might be like around 30, 29 to 35 kind of projects yeah, that's, that, 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 that's from the days yeah. of like man pressing up yeah. CDs and yeah. stuff yeah. like that a lot, yeah. of, lot of, yeah, a lot of music a lot of work a lot of stuff yeah, yeah we're, nah, we're I'm working hard how many um, solo um, oh, that's all together solo everything just, together just yeah. with just my me by myself I've got like around I must have like around 16 projects yeah. by myself just by myself yeah, yeah by myself yeah, that's, that's my catalogue 
Michael Ogg's mad. mad. Just Michael Ogg alone is mad. Yeah, that's nuts. Then with everyone together, See, I never mad. knew that. Yeah, yeah. Michael Ogg's mad. Yeah, Michael Ogg's mad. Put in work, bro. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. this, like, today's about, man. Yeah. Like, man has to like appreciate that and respect yeah, that. Yeah, man. Respect for me, bro. Man. Yeah, because we just... It, no, it's, I've always... That's what, because I've come up in that era, I always respect the hustlers because I understand the journey they went down. Mm. I understand how hard it was. Mm. I respect all of them. I always... That's why you always hear me in the interviews. I big up Mike. I big up SCS. I big up... Um, um, SAS, mm. all the main clicks because I know mm. how hard that time was. Mm. Yeah, remember, we're back and there's nothing going, there's no industry. Yeah, I remember you oh, speak, um, I watched you on, um, I think it was Bouncer's podcast and you was even talking about that time when we went to that cinema. Oh, the, um, <laughs> fam, that was a, <laughs> hey, that was a, see that one, yeah, but that, that's yeah. what, that's what got the whole industry scared of us. Yeah, they did. That one, bro. Because <laughs> you know, I didn't even know that there was that much people there. Yeah. I didn't even know because remember, we're fresh you now. Who 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 said that? Was it you, was it you or the SAS that? Who? who, who I, no, I, I met SAS that day. Oh, you met SAS that day. I met SAS that day. Oh, okay, I think they no no they SAS was on that for, for me. Remember they was gonna have a a, a little something with yeah. somebody. Remember? I remember. And then we went down there heavy though. Yeah. yeah. Went down there heavy yeah. like. <laughs> but at the time yeah. were, that was normal to us. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it was normal to us. Yeah, but I didn't know that the it wasn't normal to the industry. Remember? Yeah, yeah, so but. Yeah, yeah. It was normal to us. That's how we roll. They violate, yeah. we come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but, yeah. we did, but for the industry, I didn't know that how they was looking at us like that. When they Man, come since they, back then, innit? Yeah. yeah, we they they just wasn't. They just heard PC, SMS, SES. From that day, I didn't hear us on radio or nothing again, mm. fam. <laughs> you, didn't, <laughs> you didn't get to do shows or anything. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we got, no, we got we got to do we got to do two, two festivals. No, we got to do um, Bristol. We got Bristol Carnival, and we got yeah. another one. After that, that's it. The feds came. I mean, the feds nothing coming. Kept, nothing kept. The feds came, that's fam. Right. We driving the motorway, and the feds pulled me over the motorway, fam. Mm. They said, "See, you're, we're gonna make sure you don't ever go on stage again." Mm. Wow. How do you Man. feel about it? Do you like performing? Yeah, I, I love performing. So how do you feel about that? Because me as an artist, that's that's the best part for me. That, that shut us down. Yeah. Like, that's it. After that, don't, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what that done for the man them yeah? See when they started raiding the record shops and they took mm. our um stuff from um when they raided the record shops and took us from the um the shows and all that. Mm. The man them lost faith. Mm. The man yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. man was like, Rob, we put all this time into changing, mm. and then man, am gonna ban us like that? Mm. Nah, fam, so this is long, fam. Could mm. you say that it really kind of made you fall out of love with music and that at one yeah. stage? No, see me, not me. See but me. Man, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. See me. Nah, it would have no, to, that's a question for both. Yeah, no. Nah, mm. Um, see what it is with me. I am one of those people. That I'm not having it, bro. Mm. Like, I'm not yeah, having that. Good. You yeah, can't yeah, shut yeah, me down. Yeah, like you're yeah, mad. Yeah. Like I'm not having that. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. mad. We're gonna go again. Like yeah, okay. Other man, shut down. But me, I was like. No way. That's what marketing is, though. Yeah, so you're yeah, a marketing guy. Yeah. You knew it. Yeah, I'm Find mad. a way around it if you have yeah. to. Yeah. And I'm with me, remember, I've always been the kind of one, I'm the one, I was like the force behind the man then, remember? Mm-hmm. So, like, there was a time I was just pushing Tap Man only, and then, yeah. but he was being too bad. You know what I'm saying? Just, he's just being too wild in the streets, and then pushing DV, then pushing my brother. So I, was, I was always being like, mm. kind of there, but I'm not there. You're the same. Too. Yeah, the same too. Yeah, the, that's the same why, too. That's why you're still doing it. So I'm saying to you, so... I'm just, yeah, I just didn't give up and I just said, you know what, there's there's other angles we can go at to do this. Mm. Yeah, I was saying to you, but at the time, obviously not everyone just didn't know how to go about that. Mm-hmm. Remember, it was a new time, it was the scene was new. So if you if you stopping us from shows and and stopping us making um uh, putting our um CDs in the shops, that mm. was the main that was the main outlet. It's like they just want us to go back to the streets and do yeah, what we yeah, were they doing. They did, they did. I'm saying so that, that, that yeah, that mm. was like a shut about. I always knew in the long term, I said, you know what? This industry is gonna build. I, I always know. I said to the youngers, "Don't worry. When you lot coming up, there's gonna be the scene's gonna be different." Mm. Did you see that. that back then? then All, yeah. from, I could see it. I could see. It. I knew the scene was gonna be big. So I was saying to everyone, you know, hey, what we need to start opening up studios and mm. um, sort of distribution platforms. And I was saying that from then. I was saying, "Well, because what's gonna happen? What we we will be in charge of the scene." Mm. And yeah, but not everyone didn't get. It. I was telling, telling the man that they didn't understand it. Mm. Saying she's only certain man. I'm like, remember we had some serious meetings, no? Mm. Hey, fam, them meetings was on on, on recorded. It was serious, fam. We had some <laughs> no joke, fam. You Mad couldn't, thing. Couldn't see the vision, bro. Yeah. It was it was no. We we it was serious. The people that was there, mm. we had one meeting one time. I think it was PDC, SMS, um, Street Dreams. Oh, okay. It was a serious thing. That's a big, big, big like, it was a, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a very big bro, I'm saying to you, so them ones there, but it, yeah, come and say what was the, I was having the bees like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the bees was, was powerful. So in, um, serious. In when you lot was doing the music, oh. how big, how big yeah. was the? Yeah. Remember this? I was saying to you, you see? I know you forgot it. You forgot it. Now you remember. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. Flipping, bro. <laughs> 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 no, 
Nah, but you see, yeah. when you lot was um, really in your prime, what was your best and your worst experience in, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the music? Yeah. The best time was when we were just getting losers everywhere on radio, on the TV, everything. And you know, it was the idea to understand how I went, one time I went West End okay. just to buy some trainers and I went West End, fam. It was mad. Mm. Everyone's coming. My mum rolled, remember? So, yeah. man, so the man was still got like burners and that on the yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man's got certain things that allegedly yeah. is, but <laughs> boom. So, man's walking around, you get me? And people come to me like, hey, judge. I'm mm. like, raw. Mm. Like, yeah. But it's, oh, can we just take a picture? It's, um signature and I'm what? Signature, what are you talking about? No. But man's still a bit aggressive. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like, understand cool. the ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yes, yeah. Man, yeah. I said, man, look at me like, Rob, why can you look at me like that? Remember, aggressive, I didn't yeah. understand it. I said yeah. to you then, when I started getting used to it, man mm. saying, well, yeah, you know, your thing's hard, where mm. you lot? I'm saying, oh, it's music. Mm. Mm. I didn't understand it, I'm saying to you, but then that's when I started realising that, Rob, man's big out here. Yeah, right. yeah, he definitely was yeah. national before the YouTube yeah. was in. That's what I'm saying to you. Definitely. Way before that. towns, that's what they were. That's what it was. Exactly. It was SMS, PDC, yeah. everywhere, yeah, everywhere, everywhere, you go, everywhere, everywhere, go, like everywhere. Far, everywhere. The reach was so far. I don't even know. It was so mad. Far. I was going yeah. everywhere, far, no reach, everywhere. It was like, oh that's my what days. I'm trying to say. I was like, raw. It's just going on. Like it's mad. Like so, I'm saying to you. So that that kind of like made me realize. And the worst ones was when like we've had like when when they made the record shots. I listened to it, what I must have I must have spent around. I think me it was like me Nizzy, couple of us. We put we must have put like around. 15 bags or something to like CD projects, like the album projects and the mixtapes. Like, mm. And I burned them all up, put them in all the shops, bam, and the feds raided the shops, fam. Mm. That licked us, fam. Yeah, we got to stop that right there. Like, even just what you just said there, because that's what even people don't understand. Like you said, you put 15 bags into a mix CD. Now someone they ain't putting that into that. So they just got to pay the um exactly the tune core um, yes. subscription fee and Easy. put their music in. So they ain't putting no money in, but they're making money from exactly. it. Exactly. We had to take our hard earned Mad. money and put it into Mad. the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. To really invest. Yeah, yeah. That, that, to really invest. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that kind of like made hard cash. That kind of like made man feel like yeah, this is long. But when man saw that man said, "Well, we're putting money in there," just locked us off, and then mm-hmm. like, we lost. Remember them days? The CDs was in the shops. The feds took all the CDs, so mm-hmm. they took. That's like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like taking your work or that's mm-hmm. taking your things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like so, we What's had that? Trident. Yeah, Trident. Um, yeah. We've tried that and some next. Like, what they come? What are they called? But they were saying basically they're saying that we we're active, we're active, and we're influencing we're, the streets, and we're influencing. We're too influential. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm saying to you, so they they look they brought. It's mad when I got the call. And I think dark and cold, and some next people formed. They said, "Well, please came in, or." Saying, what? What? I'm saying, what? Well, your CDs? I'm saying, what to buy them? I didn't understand. I was like, what to buy the CDs? Man said, no, nah, they took all the CDs. Bro, I was like, bro, this is mad, it's fam. And they just, yeah, and I went to the next one, some shop in Stratford. Yeah, we never had that. All our stuff, man. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah. They took all the stuff, and then that kind of hit us because that's man's business. I'm saying to you, so, so that kind of. Nothing the man them said, nah, this is long, Judge, man. Like, mm. man's, on, man's hitting the road. I'm saying mm. to you, so that, whereas me, now I was like, that just made me say, nah, you know what, watch, I'm going to go in the office and I'm going yeah. mm. to get, that, that got me mad. Mm. I was like, nah, you know what, no way, I'm not having mm. it. And then, boom, and then by the time I blinked, when that was over, YouTube just came. Mm. Yeah. I was like, mm. what the hell is this? Mm. And like, see enough artists from then, they faded out because they didn't understand YouTube. Mm. Yeah, that's a fact. Do you, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think if they understood it back then, yeah, yeah. they would still be yeah, yeah. going? Mm-hmm. Some people didn't understand the YouTube era, so they okay. faded out. They didn't understand that. that but it, was like, it was a transition, remember? Yeah, like from was. DVDs and all that yeah, 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 to, yeah, to this YouTube. thing now. Yeah. Tube. Man, this is oh, like, man. Well, how do you upload? I remember someone showed me, I said, so how did the video get there? <laughs> yeah. well, I'm back him, so I'm saying, wait there, how did the video get on the screen? I didn't understand it. <laughs> man said, right, I got a channel, but I'm saying, how does it get, how do you get it on there? I didn't yeah. understand it. Remember then, before that was cassettes. Yeah, cassette. You would send your cassette to the uh, music station, like yeah, MTV yeah, yeah, Raps. Yeah, 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 you would yeah, yeah, send yeah, it on a tape. cassette. Yeah, 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 or that yeah. tape. Yeah. So when it's on YouTube, what, I was, was you sending stuff to um, your MTV Raps? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was sending it everywhere. They were real hustling. Listen, I said it everywhere. Everywhere. I was not playing. Yeah, Trust me, I had a link still. in I had a link them times in GMTV. Yeah. They was recording over certain things for me that like boom. But, That's a GMTV. but see now when when we're doing that now, it's like you're sending all that stuff out. And then when it comes to YouTube, enough people didn't understand the transition over to it. Mm. And then when they just got used to that, it went digital. Yeah. And everyone's like, what this what's digital now? And mm. that's what was that's what got a lot of artists faded out. But don't you think it's crazy now that now that you have the internet, 
everyone's been looking for the old school DVDs yeah, on the saying. internet yeah, and yeah, they yeah. really that's can't find them. Like, to you. But it's, it's for what I think we've got to do. Like a lot of the old artists have got to... Not easy. Everyone's disheartened. Where I, I told them, don't, don't be disheartened. Yeah, don't be yeah, disheartened. Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah. Like. Remember, you see some of the old school track. I've heard tracks that was old school that are better than tracks today. Yeah, facts. Yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, yeah. facts, 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 facts. facts. So facts. I'm saying, and, and not easy. And, uh, people didn't get to hear them. Yeah. So they still man. See certain people. They're sitting on treasures that they don't understand. They don't they're understand. They're sitting on old school bangers. All mm. they need to do is put them out in a the new way today, mm. digital way, and then. Roll mm. it again. Compilation albums yeah. and that. I'm saying too, because there's, there's, the man's got classics. Man's sitting on, I, I see man sitting on albums and, and that. some artists feel like insecure because they're not yeah. up to the time. You know, nah. like they don't yeah. feel like they're litty enough yeah. and stuff like that. Nah. And like, our oh, generation, it's not even about yeah, that. Yeah, not about yeah, the little yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's still, yeah. there's still fans yeah. out there that yeah. are yeah. Fans. your true fans. They don't want you to change that because of the times are changing. I want to hear pain, bars. I want to hear, man, I don't care about your drip. Yeah, I want to hear about. about I want to hear some. I want to hear something. Yeah, that's why Styles P will forever mm, be one of the greatest right. because he doesn't change yeah, his thing. He's not why. trying to keep up with the time. So I want to hear something. He's gonna be there. But there's people that's out there now that still want to hear it. I speak to them all the time, and mm. look, all it is for the old school to understand that well, you still got you still got treasure. You just need to know how to adapt it into the new age. Mm. That's all it is, and then mm. they'll be winning still. And that's all it is. I think there's. I think lots of artists gave up. Mm. Too easy. Mm, that's just I think lots, the old school ones gave up too easy. I'm that's like, nah, fam, should have. That's mad. Like, it's mad. I should have gave up. Like, all it is, we just need to adapt it to this new generation. Say to you. Yeah. So, what all it is? Why? Because people always say, "Raw, Chad, you kind of stayed relevant for the whole time." It's because mm. all it is, I just adapted it each time. I just understood what was going on. Like, okay, this is going on. This is going on. And I got obviously I got hustle mentality. So. It's always the, the hustle always it's always drops selling in. the brand. Yeah, it's always the brand. To a, a yeah. Next question, like, what made you want to do a book? The book now was like, no, it was, I was, when I first, I think I came out and I think it was Tim Pritchard. One guy came up to me, he's like, you know what, I read, um, I know about your story. I've heard about you before, mm. even the newspapers talking about you. I've heard mm. about you through word of mouth. I've heard about you. He's like, wow, I've heard so much stuff and would you be interested in a book? And I was like, what? No way, book? I better not write books. Mm. I was like, raw, mm. I can't write, that's a joke thing. I didn't understand uh, nah, did, you, mouth... did, did you sit down and actually write? Yeah, then, yeah. yeah then what happened with this, the, for the first one now, I said to him, okay, like, hey, how are we going to do it? He's like, okay, me and you sit down, get everyone's story, and we'll put it together, boom, boom, cool, no problem. But he's like, Rob, before I do that, i got to get it checked over with the police and all that as well. Like, we've got to make sure that this is, because there's the, the police wow. don't want me to write the book. I was mm. like, Rob, no lie. He's like, nah, it's boom, we've done the book, you know. And then he went and got it checked out by, he went to some government place, and they said, nah, like you gotta take Elijah. You can't. His name can't be on the book. It's written by him. Can't have no pictures of him in, in, in the book, or it's gonna get banned. Mm. I was like, what again? Like you know, mm. this this. I'm saying these people. Even, book. In, even in the book. I said even in the book industry. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, wrong. Yeah. So yeah. Harper yeah. Collins. Yeah. Harper Collins was like, raw. We mm, okay. We got to. We got to drop it. Then I'm saying. I'm saying raw. So I said, okay. What if we make it be Tim Pitchard on it, and then just put me in the book. Judge a very in the inside book, very a minimum still do our own thing at the side, not behind. Mm. You get me, I'm saying to you. So they said, okay, boom, let's do that. We've done that way. The feds let it slide, went to shops. That one was sold, that one was done good. That was a, that was a, that was a really How good one. How much books have you got? Two. So that was the first one, that was Street Boys. And then the Street second Boys, yeah. one was put The Power of Love that has come out last year. I'm saying How to you. How did Street Boys do? Street Boys was good. They still do doing good now. I'm saying to you. But remember, Street Boys was, that was only, we only done that in order to get. A film done, mm. yeah, and the same too. So we went to get the film done, um, by a company. I went to speak to a company. They got all the money together. I think they got at that time they got like one point eight mil. But this is back in the days, man. Mm, so yeah. it's a lot of money. Yes, it is. So they got a lot of money and boom, some Jewish company. It's and still then a lot of money today, man. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's of course, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah, that's back yeah. then, you know. So, yeah. so when we got when we got the film done, they wanted me to die in the film. Mm. So I'm saying, well, why am I dying in the film? I'm sitting right here with you. So. Mm. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, this man, yeah, mm. so I'm saying, what, what you want to dump me? Fam, they want to, <laughs> fam, I remember you, they're dumping Elijah Kerr in the film. That's man, rude, you know, yeah. real me. Yeah. So I'm saying, wait there, I'm not even a character, the yeah. real person. The real person. I'm saying, oh, I would be ex- that, yes. excited. Yeah. I said, nah, fam. <laughs> yeah, you you know, too mad, fam. <laughs> At the end, your mum will be doing this, nah, fam. You went mad. So that mm. got, that got dashed, scrapped. And then I went to some next one and they were, they were the, the right. So I waited long to get that. I, I said, right, you know what, forget that. And mm. then I started doing my second book. And um, I just got into, you know, it's the second book, Power of Love, is because we grew up without no love. Mm. We grew up raw. And that was, I started on this, as you grow up, I started, um, when you start losing friends, some of your friends turn snakes or whatever. Mm. Like, you yeah. know, so you go through, yeah. everyone goes through it. Every mm. click goes through that thing mm. where you lose friends mm. and... Trials and tribulations. Trials and tribulations, I'm saying, do you make up? It, yeah. you, you break up, make up, whatever. Everyone right. goes through those things. So it, we just didn't have no love. We grew up very alpha and very mm. solid. 
That's what it was. You don't tap into that. Mm. When you're younger, like, fam, you crying for? No, fix up, quick. <laughs> your mum will tell you that. Just quick. Your mum will tell fam, you that. That's not even your dad. Fam, that's your mum. You don't get like a two <laughs> seconds yeah. to like, just be like, just, yeah. just, just emotionally out. Yeah. Your mum's yeah. like, you get a clap, like, yeah. shut up. Yeah, yeah. To give you something to cry for. Stop yeah. that, yeah. stop yeah. that yeah. straight. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, yeah. you can't yeah. even cry, two minutes, you can't even get a two minute to yourself of emotion. They can't let a tear, you can't let that tear drop for you. You can't even get a two minute of emotion, fam. So like, bro, you get a clap, like, listen, stop that. So that. What that done for a lot of us, that kind of hindered a lot of us because mm. it, it gave us this, this strong thing but we didn't balance out. Mm. I'm saying to you, so a lot of the men up on the road have got that kind of like, it's just one-sided. Mm. It's not balanced out. I'm saying mm. to you, so that we, what we do, we struggle with relationships, mm. relationships with each other, with our mm. friends mm. because it's just always, mm. <sighs> everything's aggressive. Mm. Pass my drink. Mm. Pass the Rizzler. Mm. Pass that. Mm. It's, it's always aggressive. Pass the you're always. right there, man. Just going, like, move it past them. It's it's like, just, it's everything's just grease. Yeah, everything's yeah, just... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's always... Crazy. There's no balance. I'm saying yeah. so. The book's kind of showing that, right, when we do tap into it and we find balance, it changes our whole character and yeah. our, way of, our way of thinking. I'm saying to you, so that's what I've done The Power of Love for. And yeah, man, this, this one's doing really good. I've done... I sold a, a, I'm going to be a bestseller soon. Yeah. If they don't know, yeah. for those who don't I'm know. Not, I'm not really a strong reader like that, <laughs> yeah. but I'm going to have to get into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, I don't really like... Did yeah, yeah, you do the audio, yeah. but with your voice? Yeah, yeah. I've done the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, also, I've done the whole thing. Also, they don't know where the platforms are. Can you tell them where um, they can so find you, it? You can get on the um, on my website, um, um, judgesouls.com. It's on Amazon, um, iBooks. It's on all the digital books everywhere. Yeah. Um, Barnes and Noble everywhere. Yeah, that's nuts. That's yeah. nuts. What about this movie? Yeah, the movies yeah. are, yeah, the movies are going to be a madness now. Like, so, Looking forward um, to it. Yeah, it's going to be a madness. Come yeah, on, yeah, you know, it's going to be mad. Yeah. I'm saying that. Like, started to film already? We, no, we were starting from the end of the year. So um, all I need to do is just go, I need to go down. There's one bit of script I need to get the timing for, like, when that the whole Rasta thing, the, the, like, there's a little revolutionary bit at the beginning mm. bit. I need to get the, the times accurate. Mm. That's the last, that's what we're waiting for. Mm. Um, And then, yeah, so it's not going to be a film. There's no, like, it's not going to be, like, Rappers and all that in it. It's mm. gonna be a normal, proper film, like yeah, proper a li- film, like a life story, like a proper film, yeah, yeah proper yeah. film. No gas, just real, like mm. yeah, it's gonna be proper, like. That's big. What based on your life story? Yeah, it's basically about, about the journey and how I met. Basically, I'm like, yeah, it's basically based around me and my mum, mm. and it's basically the showing. Like, there's all characters based around that. How I, the whole journey, similar to how I just brought down a timeline, mm. but more in depth. I'm mm. Saying to you, yeah, so it's yeah, gonna, be, cool. yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And I got them. Um, obviously, it took so long because everyone's like, "Right, it took long," but it's because I needed to have creative control. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it took me long. So I'm a man. I'm like that. I'm saying like, yeah, like yeah. we have to own our own stuff. I'm saying to you. So it took me long to get creative control. They didn't want me to have creative control of my own story, fam. Mm-hmm. It's mad. So mm-hmm. now we're in a different position. Now it's mm-hmm. like power move. I'm saying to you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, different levels. Are you, you doing it independently or yeah? So no, no. So what I'm doing now, I got um, I got I, I was able to do my hustling and raise up my team separately. Yeah. Get me yeah. boom, and then also <laughs> now work with them on the distribution and marketing side. I'm saying yeah. to you, so we strapped up a dope deal and mm. yeah, bam, it was all set and then we're good to go. Yeah, we can't wait Stay for that. Say to you, yeah, no, it's madness. I can't man. wait for that. Yeah, it's mad, mm. mad, mad, fam. Do you feel like he was blackballed though, PDC? Yeah, yeah, I think, I, I don't think it was blackballed. I think, what I, what I think it was more of, they didn't understand, they didn't understand, they didn't understand us. Mm. They was, they, the people that was in the scene, you got me at our time. There was the A and R's and that. Like, see now, see man, them man, mm. them are A and R's and that. Like mm. normal people, mm. like it's yeah, like yeah, raw, yeah, like yeah. from the ends and that. Yeah. But back our days were like that. You got some, some normal dude. guy, yeah, some funny, some normal guy from bro, some man from some, not even from some Hertfordshire. They don't understand. Yeah, yeah, they don't understand, yeah. fam. Because everything everybody's doing now is basically what we were talking about. The same thing. It's about the time that the man, them are A and R's. That's what I'm saying to you. No one wants a yes man around you. So when you're in the studio, you're gonna want to bridge in that. Right, if he thinks that's a banger, oh, okay, yeah. he's gonna play his part. He's gonna go and if he's got a brethren that's on radio, listen, brethren's like he's saying, it's deep, deeper yeah. than even a yes man. It's like mm. they don't get it. Yeah, they don't. Like, some, oh, some, that's mad, yeah. isn't it? How do you crazy. feel about this new generation though of music? Um, so is I, I, I understand because they a lot of them is coming from where we came from. So mm. I understand, I understand it. I just think some of it is forced. I think some of it is too forced. Where what sense? In the, some of the some of the the way they go on and the behavior, and I think mm. a lot of it's they don't. Yeah, the some of them, some of the badness doesn't need to be. It's like it's forced. Trade, they're acting, you but it's too. Yeah, yeah it's too forced. Too like much. even some of the lifestyles. Like and the reason I know enough of the youths. Enough mm. of the youths are the man them's children. Mm. 
So, like, people that I know, like, I, I see nothing. It's like, Roy, you know my mum, you know my dad. I was like, mm. yeah, yeah like, I know them. Your mum and dad are, are hustlers, though, so mm. you're not poverty, you're not, like, broke. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not broke. Yeah, behave like, yourself. Like, your dad will buy you Ben's yogurt, fam. Yeah, mm. that's the same to you, that's so all. <laughs> you're yeah. all right, the same to yeah. you. Like, if you go to dad and say, well, oh, like, dad, bust me, dad, say, you yeah, come, buy, mm. buy your car. Mm. So, when you're on the road and you're just doing a hell of madness, I don't understand it. Mm. Like, Roy, that's mad, like, so a lot of them are got not all of them have got that, but a yeah. lot of them have that. So I think a lot of it's forced. And I think that's starting to show in some of the music, yeah. and it's kind of like you're overdoing it, like too much shank, 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 shanking mm. everyone. But on the youth thing, I would say that's the next thing I'd give you big respect for as well. You've always gave them a place, like a studio yeah. to record yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And try to mentor or help them with their careers. Yeah. So that's, that's the next thing I was going to say. With all the um stuff you've been through in the industry and without the industry is. What made you want? Is that what made you want to be an activist? Yeah, that, that's that was. I've always been at like that, but that was my. I've always wanted to do this. I've never. I wasn't just doing stuff for no reason. I was always. That was my plan. Like we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have studios. We're gonna have like films. We're gonna have documentaries. We're gonna have mm. books. We're gonna have, buy, buy buildings. We're gonna open up yeah. schools. And like that was my plan from you know, a, a real like, activist, yeah. not just marching yeah. on yeah. the front line. But I don't. I don't yeah. march. That's what I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Bro. See, that's why yeah, you see that word activist. Yeah. I, I like to call yeah. them like I wouldn't in 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 regards to mm. you. Those people like who march mm. and stuff, they're like active less. Yeah, I don't know what. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wouldn't say they're active. Say they ain't active, bro. They're you're active. Bro. You're, active. you're in the trenches and you're you're helping. Bro, the youth. That's what I'm saying to you. So that's that's my, always my thing. I'm saying yeah. to you. So it's just I've always had that thing to let, let's build and let's do stuff and. Even now when the youth come to me, I always try, I always see them as like me. Like, well, when they come to me first, I'm like, I was in, I remember that place, I was in that place. I was in that kind of dark place. I didn't have no help. I didn't have no money. I didn't have no access to stuff. Mm. I'm saying to you, so I was like, you know what? Now, when, when they when they come to me like that, I always help them and give them a better direction. Mm. Saying to you, and, and kind of, I always try to show them about patience. Mm. Why I got into loads of problems, I had no patience. Mm. No patience. Mm. I didn't understand about waiting and doing projects and strategy mm. and all that. Mm. I just went in now, fam. Like, that's why, wait, is that why you look at That's why you used to go hard at Westwood. Bro, I, <laughs> bro, I forgot about that, you know. Hey, Westwood, big hey, Westwood, we got Westwood or what? Yeah, yeah, big up Westwood. Westwood, Westwood. Westwood will say, Judge gave me grief. Yeah, I, did, I, I gave remember them. you was on it, but bro, I wasn't even on that. I wasn't bro, on that kind of... Fam, about, yeah. I, gave the, bro, I gave some of the DJs grief, fam. Like, yeah. I, I would pull up on... I see DJs outside the clubs that I'm pulling up on them. Ah! Mm. Oh, hey, mm. come and do that. Oh, mm. charge. I was onto them. I was like, fam, better play this CD. Play this. <laughs> play that. I was onto man, mm. but I had no patience. I didn't understand mm. about the build up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, the process. Yeah, I yeah. didn't understand about the process. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the new generation have to respect because yeah, yeah. that's what man went through to get this. Exactly. This, yeah. like, scene. Exactly. How it is now, exactly. you know what I'm saying? So, with being all of that and everything that you went through, now, what was, if you can change, go back into time, what is something a decision that you made in your life that you could change now? I made... No, it was one decision, patience. That's what all changed. That's one of the main things that got me into a lot of sticky problems mm. okay. and a lot of things that made me take losses. It's because of my non-patience. I didn't wait. I was... I just wanted things now. Mm. I want it now. Like, I want it now. And and because of that, I want... Money's running out. I'm going to make money now. I'm going to do a robbery now. Like, yeah, everything's yeah, now. Yeah. Like, I'm doing it now. Like, that's, that's because of the hustle yeah, mentality. Yeah, yeah. Yes, when, when, to you. when you've hustled, you know, you go outside and you get it now. Now, yeah, like, exactly. the money comes back yes, now. So now. That's, that's, that's the mentality. Yeah. That so when you're in the well, industry yeah. and it's not moving like that, exactly. it's kind of... So when, it's not, yeah. when you're in the history, yeah. it's going slow. You don't, you don't understand it. Like, wrong. It's not yeah. working. I'll do something wrong. It's cool. It's not working. I call it the hustler's hunger. Because when you have it, it's like a gift and a curse. Yeah. You... You know what you can do. You know what you're um, capable of. That's what I'm saying. So when it's not going right, you just want to, now, 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 so That's now, how I've always been. Yeah, it's just been, so that's, yeah, you said it, a gift and a curse. And that's yeah. that's the one thing I always said, patience. Like sure. now, my, 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 my whole thing's different. I now understand mm. patience and that like, mm. it will come. You have to, every, you know what is, everything in its time, you know? Everything in its time, fam. And that's that's what kind of like helped me now move forward and always stay relevant with that patience. I, 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 I had patience. Can we expect a new album from Jojo? Yeah, I might be. Enjoy is I might work on a little. Um, I've got some stuff I've been working on, you know. Mm. Yeah, so I might do something this year. But it'll be easy. Yeah, it's very like grown and yeah, nice vibe. But yeah, 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 yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I might do something this year. Um, and put something out. And I got another book coming out again. Yeah, that's and, you're and, working hard, man. Yeah, yeah you know me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always. I have to be doing something. I have yeah, to be. You have to. You have yeah, to. You have to. I'm, I'm one of the people. I just have to. I have You're to not do letting something. this time. Yeah. Just... 
Uh, I, swear, yeah, yeah. I like and I like doing. I like being creative. I like yeah. I like doing that. I'm saying, and, that, and that's what keeps you straight. And yeah. That's the next thing we have to respect mm. you for because it's easy to go back to what we used to do. Exactly. And you've never done that. Nah. You've always tried to. Right, I'm doing books. Straight, yeah. Right, it's yeah. That, it's yeah. That, I'm so. still another hustle. I just find a hustle. Yeah. Whatever hustle I can do, I say no. I can do that. I can make money from. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. And I've always done that. Like it's easy to go back. But that was easy for us. That yeah. was it's easy. That's easy. easy. That's easy. That's what people say. You see, like when you, I, I was thinking about it the other day. People go, drug dealing's easy, hustling's easy. It's not easy. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> it's not easy. Say it's nah. not easy. Nah. Nah. When you, if, if, if you're saying nah. that's easy, then you ain't hustled you enough. Ain't you ain't hustled. Trust me. You got to the proper hustle. Next level and everything. Yeah, yeah. Same to headache and the stress that a man's got to go through. But that, but random badness, that's easy. Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, that's that's easy. easy to do random, like, well, I'll come and go out there and catch someone slipping today. Like, yeah, that's yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, we catch yeah, someone yeah. quickly on the road. Mm. That's an like, easy thing. I'm saying it's easy to do that. I'm saying mm. like, I don't really rate all that. Like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really on that, that, that one there. On saying that, is there any advice you got for the young and up and coming young. things and artists and the queens that are coming out? For, for young people, you know what is yet? And I, f- I think a big part of it, is they got to have vision. They have to have, have a vision and... I think when you got when you got a clear vision where you want to go, then creating the the steps, uh, small steps to get there. That's what it is. That's that's what you win all the time. You got the vision there. Okay, boom. This is a hundred. I'm at one. How can I get to number five? Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Now I can get to number ten. Boom, boom, boom. Slowly, I'm saying to you, slow goals. See me what I was doing. I'm trying to go from one to hundred. <laughs> I was trying to skip. skip I was trying to yeah. cheat. That's like, that's so I'm that, saying what? Well, that hustle mentality? Yeah. I respect so, the honesty. No, but man's like, yeah, no, man, man's saying what? Well, if I get a, if I get like a burn, or if I get, if I rob, man, or if I do certain things, I can skip. You know, get, yeah. I get fast this tracking, money. Yeah. fast tracking. Yeah, isn't it? that's I what can it is. get that much like money, track. and I can try and do that, and then that's why you're skipping. It doesn't yeah. work like that. I feel like a lot of artists, young and old, they did that, and when they got to like from a hundred, from one to five. And then try to go to a hundred, it just didn't work out for them. Out. So they just fizzled out. If that's why. That's why you have to go through the stages. You have to build up. That's yeah. what it is. You have to go through stages. You have to build up. It's mm. just with anything. You have to go through it properly. If you skip something, you're not gonna learn properly. If you're a builder mm. yeah, and you don't true. go through the proper building techniques, yeah, you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna learn build it. The house right. Yeah. Build the house right. You're make, There's gonna, gonna be some leaks and then yeah. 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 put people in the house and the roof's gonna cave in on them. Yeah. You'll never be an expert. Yeah. There you go. Say you skip stuff. There you yeah, go. So yeah, it's yeah. about building properly and being a master properly. So what do you? Um, how's the other members of PDC say? Let's yeah. go for like. Um, Tiny is he? He's always doing very well. Yeah, Tiny's doing good. We've got Lowski doing really good. Doing Tiny's, very well. Yeah, yeah Tiny's well. doing his. Tiny's got um a, sh- um a shop now. He's always doing selling juices. He's got his okay, own shop. That's good. That's yeah, 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 yeah Tiny's doing. Big Tiny's doing. Um, Maddox is doing good. Maddox was in the barber shop. Um, he had his. his I think he's opened up a new shop. Mm. Um, and he's doing his. I think he's about to do some. He might be doing a podcast or something. I don't know what mm. he's doing. He's got something like that planned That'd as well. Dope, so. okay. Yeah, and he's yeah. obviously obviously he's a dad as well. So he's always with his children. I'm saying you know we're all parents. Um, Quinny is doing. Quinny's working. I think Quinny's working and doing stuff. And he's got his, his with his children as well. Mm. Most men with their children. Yeah, yeah they're with, they're yeah. everyone's like proper with their children now. Yeah. Like, I respect that. Man. And with That's their good, sons man. and that. Yeah, good, enough, good, enough men with their children. Mm. Regular, like yeah, mm. sitting with their children. Um, Nadge as well. Nadge's working on something now. A project. What about yeah. Inch? I was in. I seen Inch. I think Inch got married, and I haven't heard from him for how many? He's chilled out as well. Big. Uh, everyone's on grown stuff. Birdy. Birdy is. Birdie's cool out there buying houses or whatever doing. Birdie's doing no yeah, birdies, yeah, the hustlers yeah, yeah. the birdies out there doing stuff. So. <laughs> Big up Birdie as well. Big up well. Birdie, yeah, Birdie's doing something. Tetman, though. Tetman, no, Tetman went through a hard, he went through like a little, he was in jail, in and yeah. out of jail. Um, yeah, so I don't know what he's doing now. I think he's, I think he's, either, he's either in or out now. Do you reckon we'd ever get a PDC album? Uh, Everyone together. Yeah. Nah. Do you, know, mm, do you know what it is? Yeah, I wouldn't want, I don't think I would want to. I think mm. we. I think it's good. Our legacy is good for that time period. Mm. Do you understand that? I think let's keep what what I think is good. What I'm gonna do is get the a new project. So I'm gonna gather up the, all the catalog. Yeah, and push it as one project. Yeah, as one whole. Like a best of. of the best of with everything yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, say to you, yeah. and I That'd might say to you, and then yeah, do it through one of those new angles where you Master can it that. Yeah, 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 get the whole where you can buy it as one package or something. So I got hustle. So is anyone. PDC today, other than you, um, that we could still expect music from and stuff like that. My brother, Maddox, mm. um, what's his name? still writing and they're still writing, that's yeah. Dope, so yeah. They're still writing, yeah. That's that's about it. Everyone they else is not Nadja writing, yeah. As well, man. Yeah, everyone mm. else is not. No, no one else is even writing. Just got the younger lot. Sros Sros went into Christian rap, I think. Christian rap, mm. the Christian. He went to rapping like that. Who 
else is there. Everyone else is in jail. Enough of my life in jail. For you. How did you feel like you having a drive and not everybody seeing your vision? That was hard, fam. That was frustrating. Mm. Oh, mm. damn. That was frustrating. Yeah, that's... That was... You know, it was... It's hard. Mm. It was just like... You, you can... I can see something. Like, see what's happening now in the industry? I saw it. Mm. But it's hard to explain that to a man. Yeah. You can't yeah. explain that yeah, to yeah. a man. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. hey, fam, you don't understand. Oh, hey, I have to sit up for that one. That was serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, imagine you got something in your head, yeah. You can yeah. see it. Yeah. And you can I say this way it's gonna go. I can see it. this is what's gonna happen. Like the scene's gonna change. Mm. This is what's gonna happen. Mm. And if we can just like sort ourselves out and then create management companies. You're like about 30 deep or something. Yeah, like, I'm, oh, artists, fam, I'm saying to you. In artists, artists, isn't it? We're like around more than that, around. Yeah, cause I know it was crazy over there, man. There was enough rappers, bro. That was an army. Yeah, there was 40, enough rappers over there. Squad. <laughs> 40, around 43 or something See, like that. That's nuts. Mad, so fam. Imagine if you would have had that. Bro, that's what I'm to say to you. It was mm. mad. I think it was even more than that. It was nuts, bro. It was mad. That, but so, imagine if they all saw your vision. Yeah, that's what I said. We, that's yeah. what I said. It would be in madness. If I've, everyone... always, I've always thought my man was dope as well from um, at that time, Shaq as well. Yeah, yeah. mad. Yeah, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq was mad. Shaq, Shaq, I was saying to you, Shaq. that's all it was. And all it was, the streets... Got the best of Ben and them. That's what mm. it was. The streets. Yeah, same, same thing. That's how it goes. You know it goes. Yeah, you know it goes. The streets yeah. has got the best of us. Like we, mm. we're we're products of our, envi- of, of our environment. And yeah. yeah, the streets has got the best of us. Yeah, and man that's rapping, it is. Man, yeah. at that time, man didn't see man rapping in the booth doing anything. Like, yeah, putting money in their pocket. Or yeah, so and it's man. Remember them times when man's saying when man's rapping and that man's really doing it. Man's man's yeah, yeah, in the yeah, trap. Man, really man's really, 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 yeah, really in the really trap. Man's really doing the stuff. Like man's got beef for real. It's all. It was. That's what I'm saying. So. Not everyone saw just sort of now, like they understand, like, raw. I see where Judge was going, mm-hmm. like the scene, like loads of people. Like, I said, I've always told them, there was even a time I said to the man, them, like, raw, podcasts are gonna be big soon. Mm-hmm. This was years ago, you know. Yeah, I, saw I, it. I, but saw I was that. doing, I was in interviews, remember? I was mm-hmm. interviewing people. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Long I was meant time to start ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I just did it. Yeah. I was in yeah, interviews yeah, long time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I done remember. documentary interviews long time ago. I said to the man, them, see this. Way of doing stuff is mm. going to be the new way. Mm. They didn't get it. Like, what do you mm. mean? Interviews, I said, yeah, and mm. podcasts. But then, time podcasts on audio mainly. And I mm. said, trust me, this way is going to be a new vibe. And no one didn't get it. They didn't mm. understand. And that's how it was with everyone. I was telling loads of people. Then they phoned back and said, Judge, imagine you said that. I said, I told you. Mm. I've had the vision mm. of the industry growing. Mm. It's, it's growing. It's like anything, it will grow. Mm. And I'm saying I, so. I think all the, 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 the pillars, like the, the, the main people of every team from that generation saw that. Maybe yes. just the. The team didn't yes, see it. Yes, the team but the main people saw they it. Saw I saw it. Yes, yeah. exactly. I was saying to you, yeah, it was. Yeah, that's that's always been a vision, and yeah, it's this disheartening, but it is what it is, and you still can't let that um, drown drown what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. you can't do that. So, any regrets yeah. from bringing in so much people? Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Hundred percent. There's gonna be. There's gonna be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Cause boom, there, how much man there was? Yeah, there was, there was, there was mad, it's mad. There was a time here. Yeah, I remember, yeah. There was a time here, yeah, and I feel oh, we went somewhere, and there was like there must be like around 50, 60 men. I was just thinking, why done? <laughs> why create a monster? Why we're done, fam? Like it wasn't it wasn't meant to be like this. So much man that didn't understand. Yeah, yeah it was it was supposed to be like, but it just but it's, it was all love, but it just wasn't meant to be mm. so much. It wasn't meant to be so much rappers, you know. No, of course it wasn't not, meant man, to yeah. be that. And then it, there was. It was what is when we were meant to be that. That, so like was a, the, that was like a craze. It was yeah, like yeah. everyone was just yeah. rushing to so it. Yeah. I can was rap, the, I can rap. Yeah, the 60. Was there yeah. ones that you did have to turn away that couldn't yeah, rap? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You just laughs> not, not this, this, not this. There's, don't forget music. There's certain men that wanted to be around just, just PDC that like, over the road, road. And I don't like some of them up to this day because... They don't like me, don't we know why it is because you went to be with PDC and yeah, you, you couldn't, couldn't roll, you're not yeah, rolling. That's what it was, but it's it's calm. But there was, there was a few, but it, it is what it is. It's not like it is what it is. Yeah, you just didn't yeah, you just didn't cut it. I say to you. Yeah. So you see, like you as an artist, did you ever want to have like an international crossover um, with another artist from over there? Um, I, did, I, I swear I did I did I, did I do anything with anyone. I didn't do anything with anyone. I done we done something with but now Cormega rated you a lot though. Yeah, Cormega, yeah, Cormega. Yeah, 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 Cormega comes to the studio, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cormega comes to the studio. This let me tell you about Cormega, yeah. How he, he proper rates my man though, because I know him from Queen's Bridge. But listen, let me tell you how real Cormega is, yeah. Fam, I'm in the studio one day, you know, in in Brixton. Came in it. The door knocked, you know. I opened it, I said, Raw, Cormega, by himself, one up. 
Like, yo, Why man, not? what's up? He's just come and find you. Savage, this fam. No, bro, bro, <laughs> I'm being serious. Big up to Cormega. Mega. You have to big it up. Big up to Cormega. Big up to Cormega. Big up to Cormega. That's real. That's real. That's not even no joke. Why not? Big up to Cormega. Bro, Cormega was in the hood walking like the man them. Yeah. He's walking around in Brooks like the man them. Walking around cash. Like, yo, what's up? That's mad, though. You got a tune with him? Um, um, I've done a tune with, no, I sorted out a tune for him, Dean Marsh, they've done a tune together. Okay. Okay. Me and him were supposed to do something, yeah, 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 yeah. same to you, but yeah, Cormega, official. Yeah. Mm. He's official. Proper. Mm. Official, he's official, official. Yeah, that's good, man. That's, that's a good. serious one, though. Imagine that, Jaja yeah. and Cormega, that's like... Yeah, cool. yeah that's no, like, trust me, it's, it's official, but, but rapper, that's it too. So a lot of, a couple um, people have come down from America, come to the place, um, Roxanne came down. Same okay. to you, Roxanne came down. Who's Roxanne? She, um, from America, the old yeah. school Queen's Roxanne, 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 yeah. She came down when her yeah. film was out, she came to the studio. Um, yeah, we had a couple of people come pass through and show love and that. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a good look and they always have respect and, yeah, man, they're, they're it's real recognised real. So, yeah, it's all good. What else um, can we expect from you? Um, what we've got now, I've got, this, I've, got, I've got the film coming out, I've got more books and I've got, um, I want to open up, one of my main things, you know, I've always said it's a university. Mm. It's one of my projects I'm working on. Like, that's, in what, a university? On, open up a university. Yeah, yeah I want to have a, a proper university, like a proper one, like a normal one. Teaching? Teaching, like teaching normal. Right I'm not going to be teaching, but I want to have my university. What's the curriculum? So the curriculum, that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. So that's what we're talking <laughs> that's about. That's yeah. All What's right, so uh, yeah. our curriculum is different things. So, but I want yeah. it to be folk. I want it to be normal curriculum, but I just want it to be, I want it to be not the the versions of things that we're, we're teaching people now. I'm saying to you, I think what, seeing a lot of schools, yeah, we're teaching um, our people stuff that they can't, Utilize outside. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff is stuff that yeah, yeah. you can't mm -hmm. utilize out. I'm saying so. I would love to change that. Even in mm -hmm. college or university, I would love to change that kind of way where we don't teach no social skills. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't teach a lot of stuff. You know about saying credit to, and stuff like. No, no, yeah. fam, yeah. I didn't know about credit. So I was a big man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, so, man didn't fam, even care about that. By the time I knew about credit, yeah, my credit was done out here, fam. <laughs> <laughs> fam, I looked at my thing here one time. Yeah, I said, bro, what's that? What's that, bro? There's bear. What it strikes and yeah. the Bailey people. <laughs> my my thing was done out here, fam. I didn't even know about it. I didn't even know that there was a list. Mm. I didn't even know there was a credit file. Mm. I didn't even know about yeah, it. I'm a big man. That's, that's what you know from now. Mm. Obviously, my thing's, my thing's nice Pattern. now. You get me? Yeah, yeah, it up. But yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. That, I didn't know about that. And those things was important. Very I'm important. To you, so Especially as a businessman. I'm saying to you. Anyway. Yeah. So don't certain things don't learn know. business in school. Don't learn business in school. Yeah. Same yeah. Too. I didn't know about all that stuff. Starting a limited company or doing anything. Mm. I didn't know about that. I was lost. But it's all good. Now my nose, a man can pass it on. And help the younger generation. So yeah, that's kind of projects that I want to work on in those kind of. So, so is Judge of Souls they married? No, no, you are wrong, man. You know, okay, okay, okay. No, not yet, not yet. No, 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 but like, I'm not married yet. I'm not married yet. What? Bro, bro, shots like shots like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that was. Yeah, that's a little podcast question. Other than the books and. Music, is there any other He didn't even answer, what did you say? That's what you got right now. You just said it very soon, yeah. Okay, I had another one, I had another one. So say um, your children, would you <laughs> yeah. want them to be like in the entertainment industry? Ooh. Um, and yeah, if they want to, they can be. But what it was, yeah, but you have to be, I'll have to be involved. I have to be involved. Fully, like management. I'll have to be management. I wouldn't have to be fully, but I would I would have to be there mentoring and guiding them through just so yeah. yeah I'm saying but obviously I'll make sure that they they're equipped mm. yeah, so if they yeah, if my daughter or my son say you know what dad I'm going to go down the road mm. I'm going to say okay I'm going to make, make sure they're equipped mm. to go down that road so I don't even this because they might not want me to be involved I might say nah dad bun you fam like you know, <laughs> I don't want you to be in my thing mm. so I, that's calm but I'm going to make sure you're equipped yeah. to go into the scene and also I'm going to be watching from the background yeah, yeah, yeah of course that's, that's what I'm saying to you we I'll know the industry the man will be like this get me like raw what's that watching and I'm saying, but yeah, they can. If they want to go down that creative field, that's mm. that's, yeah, that's there's some wicked yeah, people in the industry. Yeah, but what I was gonna ask you is, um, other than the music and the um books, what other business ventures do you, people that they don't know have you been in? And okay, have you been in, I got, um, involved in. I got a company um called Indigo Youth that okay. does um it's nice. I didn't know that, that does all my um yeah Indigo Youth. So we do that's where we do all the mentoring through that's um. Sick. I've sent I've sent um people to um, young people to college, yeah. paid for their tuition, university. Man, I've done loads tough. of things that's like that. Dope, I'm saying to you, yeah. so that's that's, that's, that's that's like my goals company that I just leave that I don't really mm. push yeah. that to front. That's just me mm. doing my thing. I'm saying to you, okay. so that helps enough people. Oh, Some sure, ra sure. rappers yeah. might come to me and say, you know what, Judge man's man's broke. You get me? So I say, run, boom, boom, a little change. Go do your thing. Mom, mm. ain't got money for videos. Here's your thing. I'm saying to you, so that company. 
that's what that company's for. I'm saying Indigo oh, Youth. So I've, I've been running that for around six years now, working with the Arts Council, um, Lambeth Council, um, loads of the British British Council, loads of different um, organisations like that. And um, yeah, doing projects abroad. I don't want project to Sudan. We've done an orphanage and got the, the kids some football stuff and all that. Um, oh. Yeah, I've done a project in America, um, some more in Africa. Um, yeah, done lots of things. Yeah, yeah, that's major. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's major. Yeah, man, that's Indigo really Youth, big, and yeah, that's the yeah, that's the un, anyone wants to see that is um, www.indigoyouth.com. That's got all the stuff yeah, on there, all the stuff here, yeah, all the mentoring, the poetry stuff and all that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. the next thing, the poetry. Yeah, the poetry, yeah. Maybe you want to do yeah. that. The poetry, no, it was, yeah. Because you always, done an album like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I've done, um, what's called, what called? Power, Power, the yeah, Power, power. Um, Poetry. Um, and it was just at a time where I was, you know, when you start elevating and learning certain things, I was yeah. travelling enough, mm. I travelled to Sudan, I saw some next things that, when I was in Sudan, and then they got, and then they got um, kidnapped, the, the soldiers out there. Wow. Fam. So when we got serious incidents, get me, fam. Imagine, yeah, man went to one place here. Yeah. No joke, fam. Man was in Sudan, in Juba. Fam, man went to some place now. It's, it's wars going on. Big up yeah. Sudan. It's war going on. The one of the, one the right people that was in the drivers took us some place and started taking a picture That's of the it. building. Mm. So obviously, fam, you know me, my street thing. So obviously, I'm, I'm thinking, raw. I swear, like, man, I was supposed to take a picture of buildings like this, like, where we was, get me? So, I'm, I'm oh. stepped back a little bit, but here, on like, my street instincts, I'm looking around, you know, I saw something in the bush, fam. Oh. I'm saying, wow, what's that over there? <laughs> I'm, saying, in the so bush. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to edge back to the car, you know. Fam, I saw soldiers come out of the bushes, rebels, you know, fam. <laughs> fam, oh. read my heart sunk. I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, come back, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, let me give you a joke. They took everyone's phones, you know. Remember, yeah. match to our thing, you know. Yeah, they're yeah, they're saying, yeah, they're taking us. Yeah. They're saying, they're taking us. <laughs> fam, hey, what now? <laughs> they said, bro, I, I said, bro, like they said, bro, give me your phone. I said, what? And they said, mm. where are you from? I said, England. They said, eh, come mm. with us. Bro, mm. hear what now? That's they money. Went, they they, they, so money they went for yeah? our phone now, yeah? They mm. wanted to see who was taking pictures. So I said, I didn't take no pictures. Get me, mm. boom. They went for my phone, yeah? They saw my album cover. Uh. Mm. <laughs> the man said, the look of you, you know, some facey look of you, the big match for him. He said, mm. bro, what, what's this? I said, bro, I do music. He's like, you're a rapper. I was like, yeah, yeah, boom. He's like, he played it. He's like, hey, gangster, mm. gangster mm. rap. But mm. fam, do you know what he said to me? Yeah. Go and sit in the car. Yeah. <laughs> loud man, loud man. Loud man. And that's a look fam, for you. Fam, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah. Look at you that's with the yeah, biggest, yeah. well, he had that's the not... biggest mad, mad thing, fam. Yeah, that's the music, the, you know. The rest of them got, like, they searched them, it was all the madness, like, it was mm. all, it was Did all. Did they take no, anybody? No, take them. What happened? They phoned someone. Some got sorted out. It was a madness, fam. That was in Juba, you know. I'm way in Sudan, fam. So, mm. What's yeah. that, a country? Uh, yeah, uh, in, in, um, like yeah, in Africa. city or something? Uh, no, um, so you got Sudan is a country in Africa, and they got um, the city is Ju um, Juba. Juba. Okay. I'm saying to you, and then it's mad. I saw, like, dead bodies. There was, was, was dead body on the pavement. I just walked over it. Mm. You no, know, certain things just, like, you know, changed my whole way of yeah, the way of thinking. Man. So, so it's like, yeah. there's a mansion there, like, dope mansion. that like, was like, Miami, Miami Vice, and right mm. there's a dead body. Mm. So that kind of threw me off, you get me? Like, mm. raw, what's going on? And then I started understanding the politics of the country, what was going on, and that mm. made me come back and I started, that's when I started getting into kind of like poetry and mm. started just writing a bit different. Mm. Saying to you. So that's where the, the poetry thing came in. You got in touch with your inner self. Yeah, that was a different deeper, you get me? A different yeah. deeper thing. And I started doing the poetry love show with Mr. Play. Mm. Saying to you, me and Mr. Play, so big up Mr. Play. Play. Big big up we started Mr. doing, we done, we done a big um, poetry event in Tate, Tate mm. Museum. Uh, it was Dope. a madness. We packed out the whole place. Mm, come on, man. First time that's happened, you get me? So mm. we've done a big poetry show. And then from then, I started doing um, poetry um, workshops for young people. Um, and that's through Indigo as well. Started just helping them do poetry and um, giving them platforms and free studio time and helping them do CDs. And I helped loads of poetry artists. Like, there's mm. ones out there now that's doing... I see them on telly. I'm like, mm. rah, they started from my thing, get mm. me? So, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Dope. yeah that's dope, so, so, yeah, that's, that, that was like, one of the things that kind of, like, come out of all that. Mm. Can we see another um audio poetry album from you coming soon? Nah, in term? that was a, no, that was the time. A stage I was in. That was the stage I was in. Yeah, okay. I was in that stage of, of of my growth from saying to you, and yeah, that was just my my vibe. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah, that was just my vibe at the time. I don't. Even, it's mad. Like, see, I've done so much of a creativity in that and writing that now. Like, even rapping comes. I have to think about it now. Like, I couldn't just like I can't rap a bar off my head no more. That's how lazy <laughs> got to rap. That's what I'm saying to you. So it's mad, but so. Well, my head's still in that creative place, but it's just different avenues of it. Yeah. yeah. So I got a couple more questions. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone that's involved in gang activities? Yeah, I'd call it, call it a day, fam. Like, see, if they're like, mm. if they're, if they're, <laughs> bro, <laughs> see if they're not in problems here. Yeah. Bro, yeah. bro, yeah. If, they're, if they're not, if they're not got, if they're not got serious beef, mm. right now, call it a day. 
Bam, call it a day. If they haven't mm. got serious beef or serious problems right now, mm. call it a day. Call it a day. It's, it, bro, it's, 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 they say that avenue's long now. It's a, bro, in yeah. this, in where we are now. 2021. Bro, but 2021. Don't, don't it get you so mad when you see them on social media, the ones that are not involved in it at all. Bro. But they go on like they're so involved. Bro, that's the last thing you want, fam. You don't, you don't want people coming to your house, shooting yeah, your mom, your brother. Yeah, don't. You don't want people wanting like, you don't want it. Like, it's, bro, it's not even, it's not even a good look. All happens, no? I told them the same thing. Mm. You get in, get nicked, you go to jail, no one checks you, your girlfriend leaves you and walks your bedrooms and all that. <laughs> Come out, looking hench, <laughs> you got no money, you got to start something again, you go to jail again, you go, you, boom, eventually you get, you, after all that, you just end up doing like a normal, like painting and decorating job. It's, it's like, Rob, fam, there's man I know that's been through all those years no, and then now they're like 40, 50 now. They're just saying, I'm going to get a job. A job, yeah. Rob, just when now. It, man, they could have done that's that in the beginning. Bro, you could have done that from the beginning and you'd have, been, you'd have bought a house by now. The facts. That's what I'm saying facts. to you. So that's, that is a myth, bro. So I'm saying to man, bro, that's a big waste of time. You're going to do like a whole, this whole couple of years of wasting time. And mm. and you could, some people might like make out. I've got, I got a couple of friends and youngsters that like in jail now doing like 30 years and 40 and that. Mm. They're coming out when they're like 70 and all that. Like, mm. bro, it's a myth. Mm. Same to you. So, and even they say, they ain't there saying, no, oh, it's a myth. Yeah, of no, course. Cool. So anyone, anyone bro, that's in there is going to, that's what they're saying to you. That's what they're saying to you. It's a myth. So I'm saying, mm. that's what I say. Any young youths now, tap into what you can do. Whatever mm. whatever you can do that's good and utilize that and go down that, that, go down that direction because the road thing is a myth. It's only going to be death or jail or madness. Mm. That's it. And some people, don't even touch on the mental health side of it. Mm-hmm. Enough man them are gone. Mm-hmm. I got friends now. I'm, I was with my daughter one time walking in Brixton and one of the man them obviously he's, he's got is- mental issues now. Mm-hmm. He was outside the truth station. He's like, Raw judge. Mm-hmm. He hugged me, but he's got he smells and all that. He gave me he's like like I'm my door, my door's looking like, Raw dad, how the tramp to hugging you like that? <laughs> I'm saying, no, I'm saying I'm saying, Raw, that's not even a yeah. tramp. That's no, like that's one of the man them. Yeah, I'm saying to her, I said, yeah. Raw, that's one of my friends. We laugh, but she's, it's yeah. serious. So she's like, Raw, that's so, so crazy. Yeah, so she's like, Raw, dad, I, I can hardly get that. I'm saying, Raw, that is that's what the streets does. Mm. It's what the streets does. This is the streets, man. I'm saying to you, that's but what that's the, the side of the streets. And that's people that don't even, tell you about. You even have them combos with your daughter, like yeah. you told her there and then. Like, that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. you know what I'm that's my friend. I'm saying yeah. to you. So we get, I get it all the time. I'll be going bricks and all. Man comes to me with like a pound. They're like, raw judge. Mm. I'm like, raw bro, what are you doing there? Like, mm. oh judge, I can't, can't just get a pound. I'm saying, and it's, I was like, raw. My, my kids are there. You get me? I'm saying, mm. they're like, raw dad. How can you know the, all these mm. people? I'm, and I'm, I'm saying, raw. This was my friends. This wasn't even like this is my friends. Like these are people I grew up with, like but they're proper proper friends. These are and friends. They're, they're, like they're that, gone. Yeah. I'm saying to you, they're gone. I'm saying, do you know what happened here? Soon when was like when I was 15, I first went to jail. Enough men that went to jail at that age as well. They didn't come out. They went to mental institutions. Mm-hmm. I'm saying to you, did it come out again? I'm saying to you, one of my friends' rudeness. He went in jail when he was like 15 or 16, and he's never been out. He, mm. He's he's got he went straight from Fell I mean, to like um, Broadmoor. He's, that's never been out. Mm. Since you've never been out, bro. And he's still in there now. Still in there now. Yeah, that's crazy. From when was from them ages. Mm, Say to you, and that's what I say to mm. people. Then he was he was a bad boy. I'm saying to you, he was mm. savage. But that's mm. what happens. I'm saying to you. So mm. you always got to be very careful of that and the karma that comes with the road. Mm. And there's a lot of things. Man, see, I see man out here thinking they're gonna shoot and stab and everyone, bro. Mm. Yeah, see yeah, the karma yeah, that bro. comes with that, bro. True. But listen, it's serious. Mm. Only the only the real one, no, isn't it? Yeah, it's not mm. a joke, fam. So that's what my advice for them. If you're on the road, call it a day, fam, and it's gone. There's other things that you can tap into that are more beneficial. Mm. Yeah, hundred mm. percent. Well, we know you're Rate a businessman man, and you're doing so many things. What would you see yourself getting involved in that no one would ever think no, business wise? No. Last question, and then we're yeah. gonna wrap up. Yeah, no, definitely. no one think, no one think that I'll be getting involved in. Was, I don't even know what. You can leave that for the next one. Oh, that's a, that's a hard one. That's you what can leave that one for <laughs> the next no, time. No, I'll tell you what, no, I'll tell you what's the idea. That's I'm not gonna lie. This idea has been in my head for long. Yeah. Open up a jacket potato company. Like jacket, yeah, I love jacket jackets back in the day. Jacket yeah, potato company. Jacket potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 but, no, but yeah, that's that's jackets. Jackets. They, I don't think yeah. they know about bro. jackets. Yeah, that's a real old school shit. I'm telling you, jackets, man, potatoes, bro. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's what. Clapping, coming higher. Bro, it was different. It was different. Yeah, well, fam. Yeah, hundred, hundred, hundred. Yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. That's it, bro. You man would have if you was in New York, you would have been you would have blown back in the day. I think I listening to the story. Man, not easy. Man, was ahead of the London yeah, situation. Yeah, I mean, not easy. And we got to be careful with how we're saying blown as well, because yeah, times true. will come in different ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah many different. Yeah, forms and of when success. you say blown, got to know what what how we're measuring the success. I think you're yeah, just ahead of careful. the time in London. Just ahead of the times yeah, of certain yeah, things, yeah. but also when it comes to success now, 
we will say blown. It's an individual measure. Blown's measure, one, blown's like the popular blown, and then you got uh, successful. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, man yeah, could yeah. be successful in their field as yeah, a, yeah, yeah, as, yeah, a yeah. as a wash machine guy, as a um, engineer, yeah, as, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, as a dad or quite as, personal. Yeah. yeah, yeah so you got yeah. we got to be careful with the, the blown stuff like raw. Yeah. Because people can be successful, and there could be a man that's married a woman, and them two together stack money, and they ain't a success. That's successful, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's big so facts. You gotta be careful yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Let me give you the last two. What's the um, biggest lesson you've learned? Don't, don't, don't. Um, no, all your friends at the beginning. One of my lessons was all the people at the beginning mm. are not gonna be here with you at the end. That facts. was one of the biggest ones I had to learn facts. the hard way. Facts. They're not all gonna be mm. with you. All the people at the beginning, mm. some of them are not your real friends. Mm. They're just there for the that ride that was there at the time. Yeah, yeah. Facts. That's what that was one of the things I learned. Yeah, that so was what, a big what, one. What advice would you give to the um, um, next generation? The next generation, for, 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 in regards to that, yeah, in regards to that, be careful who you're just bringing around you. Like that's just I like, know we're too quick to just bring people around us. Like mm. friend, this my friend, this my friend, this my friend, that's my friend, and we're not kind of monitoring. Like now, what I would do, like raw, I would say to my friend, like raw, what's your plans? Where where do you see yourself going? Mm. What's your your aim in life? Mm. He might say, "Fam, I'm just out here. I'm just gonna, I'm just banging." Okay, you're not my friend no more because I know where you're going. <laughs> okay, and then like, right, another person might say, "Right, you know what? I will not open up a washing machine company." I say, "Okay, that's that's progressive, but I don't mm. want to open a washing machine company. Mm. I'm I want to start making films. Mm. So me and you are on two different journeys. Mm. I'm saying, so you can be my friend, but at least I know where we stand, mm. and that's what it is. We, we I have need to... my washing machine fixed. I can call you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so we need to understand. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who... plays a part. Yeah. Got to play the but best what will happen now? We're doing stuff and we bring the washing machine man with us. Mm. But you but don't need to. You don't yeah. need to bring him. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying to you, that's what it is, and that's what we're forgetting. Like, well, he's let him do his wash machine business, mm. and let me go and do my movies. I'm saying to you, and that's what we're doing. We're just bringing everyone together down this road. And like, mm. so the man that's making the films, he's trying to bring all these people to do films. Mm. But he wants to do wash machine. He wants to get married and live in Saudi Arabia. Mm. He wants to go to America. Mm. He wants to do it, be a DJ. Yeah. So we got to be very careful how we're just putting everyone in one group, and that's where a lot of the crews. And mess up in the long run because mm. at first we thought, oh, we're all repping this crew, mm. but within that crew, we all got different directions. Yeah, of course. And that's what I'm saying to you. So that's that's one thing we have to bit monitor more how um, the friends around us and what direction they're going into. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. Definitely. On that note, we're gonna end it. You know what I'm saying? Hello, so, yeah. man. Hello, Jazz 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 Thank you, man. Jazz thank Jazz you very much. much. Big up, big up, Jazz Jazz for love. coming in. You know what I'm saying? Over here at Free Smoke, you know we appreciate you, bro. Free Smoke, Free Smoke. That's what it is, Jazz. Big up yourself every time, man. Listen, big up. Big up. Big up. Big also, my people, you gotta look out for the, the next episode. It's been fun. I am your host of the most, the people them's champ. Self proclaimed, never self proclaimed. The people them gave me that name, Big Jabba Jones from the <laughs> South Side. <laughs> Boy, you to the world and back. What they feel like. Big up the big bros and that. Big up my co host, my big bro, and you know, partner yeah, in crime got, in this. We definitely got to big up all the um, background stuff. Come on, man. Big up everyone. Big up everyone. Big up the cameraman. Come big up on. the prime minister. You know what I mean? Come on. The prime minister. Come on. The background. Sims, Come on. ASB, Time Come Storm. Come on. Shan Shan. Come on. We got a big up. Already my brother's in the booth. T Storm. That's where it is. Got free smoke. Free smoke. Free smoke. Free smoke. We're out. We're out. We're out. It's been fun. Tell them I'm straight. I'm talking fans. Tell them I'm straight.